how do you subtract integers? Subtracting integers can be tricky because often the result that we get isn't the result that we expected. Now most of us, when we see a problem like 16 take away 27, we realize that our result should be negative because what we started with is less than what we're taking away. And you would be right, the answer would be negative 11. But when we have problems like negative 3 minus negative 3 and 4 minus negative 4, sometimes students think that both of those have an answer of 0. But in reality, negative 3 take away negative 3 is 0. But 4 take away negative 4 is positive 8. Now maybe we wouldn't have expected that we would have a positive answer when we were taking away in that situation, but when you start with 4 and you try to take away 4 negatives, you're going to end up with positive 8. Now we're going to show you why that is in a minute. But since subtracting integers can be so tricky, we needed to come up with a way to help us in solving them. So let's go back, take a step back, and remember our adding rules, and then we'll see how that works with subtraction. Adding integers is really the same thing as combining. So adding just really means combining. And so when you combine three negatives and five negatives, if you put those together, you would have eight negatives. But when you try to combine six negatives with eight positives, then what's going to happen is you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six sets of zero, or we like to call them zero pairs, which leaves two positives that weren't paired up. So negative six plus eight is positive two. And we remember how to add because we remember that when the signs are the same, you add the values and keep the sign. But when you add different signs, let me draw a line here, to separate those. When you're adding different signs, with it, then you need to subtract the values and use the sign of the greater absolute value. So in the case of negative 6 plus 8, 8 minus 6 is 2, and since the 8 was bigger, your answer is positive 2. So we're going to apply those rules to subtraction because we found that in a situation like negative 4 minus 8, one of the easiest ways to be able to subtract is to just follow these four steps. Same, change, change, and then the fourth step will be use, addition, rules. In this case, same, meaning keep the first number the same. We never change it. So same, change. We're going to change the subtraction bar that we have here to an addition bar. But in math, we do everything in pairs. So if we change subtract to add, we need to change the second number 
to its opposite. So a positive 8 becomes a negative 8. So now we have negative 4 plus negative 8. So our fourth, fourth step is to use addition rules. So negative 4 plus negative 8 is negative 12. So what we originally had as what we originally had was negative 4 minus 8. The result is negative 12. So hopefully this helps using this rule, same change change, and use your addition rules. If you apply that to all your subtraction problems, you should be able to do fine. Good luck!